Hello, my friends, and welcome to my review and ranking of Bubble Skin Care. If you are a returning subscriber, yes, this is another brand of the month. If you are new, this is a brand that I've been trying for the month of February. It has not been my favorite month of all time, so I'm so glad that Bubble, a brand that I did have prior experience with, is the brand I chose for this month because even though I had to cut this trial a little bit short, I feel so confident in where I stand with these products, and in fact, I have really strong opinions on the 10 products I'm gonna be talking about. I feel like this is such a risky situation because on one hand, I absolutely adore some of these products. Some of you already know I have holy grails from the Bubble Skincare brand, but I also really did not end up liking some of these products at all. It makes for the situation of, well, how do you start this video? Do you start with what you love where people think Ugh, they're just a shill for Bubble? Or do you start with what you hate where people say, oh, she's so negative. <laughs> It's a real conundrum, I gotta choose one of those, so I will at least say, before we get into this video, a quick disclaimer that this video is all my own opinions. There is no doubt whatsoever that my skin type is playing a big part into how I feel on these products, and in case you don't know, my skin type is dry, acne prone, and a little sensitive. If you have no acne, oily skin, and perhaps you love the smell of rose, you might have the exact opposite ranking. So I do wanna make sure to say, if you disagree with me in any way on any of these products, feel free to comment, not just feel free, I highly encourage you to. Skincare is so personal that it can feel overwhelming, and I do think it is helpful when people share their honest opinion on products, how things really went for them, even if it is different from person to person because it will be. As usual, there are timestamps in the description box below. I am also a bubble, what do they call it? <laughs> Ambassador, just drew a blank on that. So I do have a 10% off bubble discount code. If you appreciate this video and would like to help support the channel, you can feel free to use that. Uh, and I do have a couple notes that I wanna say before we get into this video. I have in all capital letters here, is this brand for kids? And uh, I, I would think that, you know, looking at these products and how cutely they're packaged, I do think that Bubble kind of does appeal to a younger audience. I think that they certainly set out with the intention of formulating for at least teenagers. I saw some people asking on their Instagram, is this good for my 12 year old niece or nephew? What I would say, and this is just my opinion, always feel free to talk to your doctor or dermatologist about this type of topic. Um, I would say that Bubbles' original lineup is probably a really good option for kids. They started with really gentle products, very few actives, but I have to say, honestly, I do think that their more recent releases have been a lot stronger. They have a lot more active rich products. Let me give you an example. In today's video of 10 products, six of these contain actives, four of them contain chemical exfoliants. So what I would say is if you are watching this as a skincare enthusiast, and I assume that most of you are, uh, I would definitely say to use your skincare knowledge in choosing products for your niece, nephew, for your kid. For example, I would not say to buy them three exfoliating masks all at one time. I, I don't think that's the best idea, but as a whole, I would say the brand is cute and does appeal to younger people. I frankly think that they are also appealing to college age kids. I can see 21 year olds thinking these are adorable products. And I of course wanna say that just because I do feel this brand is geared towards the younger audience, please do not feel like you cannot use this brand if you are of an older age. If you are 19, if you are 84, you can still enjoy this brand. In fact, some of their more sensitive skin friendly products might be perfect for you absolutely regardless of your age. I also wanna comment really quickly on the smells of these products, and this is mostly because I was browsing the Ulta website and a new review came in just this month on, I think, the overnight mask. This is what that review said. Scent made me return it. I'm not really sure if this product works or not because the only time I used it, I immediately had to wash my face off because of the disgusting, thick, no scent type of scent that it had. Taking all these five-star reviews with a grain of salt because I don't trust that no one but me felt that awful scent it has. 
This made me stop in my tracks and realize I need to comment more on what I actually prefer. I know exactly what that reviewer is talking about, some of you do too, but the thing is, I don't dislike that, I don't dislike that skincare smell without any of the fragrance in products. I actually like it. I feel when I open a product and smell that, my brain goes, oh good, we have a lower risk of having problems with this product. <laughs> And you all know it is so true in the YouTube skincare world that a lot of people dislike fragrance, but I, I will say, some people like it. So know that most of these products smell like unscented skincare. And then the third and final point for this video, I did discover this brand because they started sending me PR uh, around May of last year. I did go ahead and buy a bunch more products with my own money. So today's video, I think it's actually an even split of products that were gifted and products that I did purchase. I would tell you everything in this video is going to be my opinion anyway, but trust me, you're not going to need that particular disclaimer given how strongly I feel about some of these products. Are you ready to get into it? Do you wanna start at the bottom? It's so dangerous. All right, I'm doing it. I have three products in this video where I didn't end up liking the product. Starting with the product I disliked the most, number 10. It's a product where my expectations were too high with this one. And that is none other than the Bounce Back Balancing Mist. Hear me out on this one. This is an adorable little spray toner. It is so cute. You know I love spray toners. So I was so excited when I went to use this day one of this trial, sometime late in January. I was going, oh, this is gonna be great. I spray it in my face, and I just had this feeling that I had sprayed a rose-scented perfume directly into my face. The expectation that was up here just immediately, immediately bottomed out. I don't like the smell of rose. I do not like it at all. And to associate using skincare with the feeling of applying a perfume, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. You know that is totally personal preference. Some people love this smell. You might absolutely love this product, but no, I could not do it. I managed about, I think about two days, four times, and then finally I just hit a point where I said, I'm not doing this to myself. It's okay, it is okay to not like a product. Not everything works for everybody. And I've got plenty of toners that I do love. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pass this along. The products you see in boxes, I'm decluttering. I've got to Marie Kondo my life. But I wanna say one other thing on this product before I move on. This is a, a very different ingredients list from a lot of Bubbles products. This is definitely one where you do see those essential oil constituents. I wanna say really quickly, uh, I see people sometimes comment, you know, why did they add essential oils into this? Well, the essential oil actually is the rose water. When you see those ingredients like citronella, geraniol, linalool, that is typically the company disclosing the potential allergens found within that essential oil. So they're not actually added, they're disclosed, if that makes sense. Just because I do see a lot of questions around that. But yeah, that's the only product that has any of those types of ingredients. Last place for me, unfortunately, because skincare and personal preference go hand in hand. Truthfully, I'm a little more nervous about what people are gonna think about my number nine product because I know that this one is actually beloved by many people. It may have actually been in Dr. Lee's favorite skincare products of 2022. Do I have to go against the grain this much? The Deep Dive AHA and PHA Exfoliating Mask, but it is for a really different reason. It's for a reason that I did not foresee coming, and it might be my fault, I'll, I'll explain, but it also might not, I'm really not sure. First things first, you've gotta take a look at the ingredients list with this one. Again, you know how I was saying at the beginning of this video, is this brand for young people? This has a lot of chemical exfoliants in it, and I do personally really wish that Bubble would give a little more information about how strong this is. There is absolutely no way to look at this ingredients list and guess, no educated guess. It's just impossible. You cannot tell if this has 5% glycolic acid or 
15% glycolic acid. But the reason I do wish that they would disclose that is because on my skin, as somebody who is a bit more sensitive, I have to really treat a strong AHA product quite differently from the way I would a, a gentle product. So I don't ultimately know if this is more like Drunk Elephant's baby facial or if it's more like the versed doctor's visit. But in complete fairness to Bubble, there's no legal requirement to disclose that type of information. And in fact, because of all the other chemical exfoliants in it, it could behave a bit differently than a, a similar product with a similar level of just glycolic acid, right? That makes sense. It's just that it makes it hard for me to know where my sensitive skin type stands with this product. But ultimately, that is not the reason why this is coming in second to last for me. This is coming in second to last for me because something very strange has happened over a course of time with this one. This is one of those products that I was originally sent in PR. I liked it originally. I thought that the packaging was cute. You know, you had this little twist mechanism here. I'll put up my little swatch video so you can see. That is not what this product looks like when you see Instagram reels and TikToks of what this product is supposed to look like. So I think again, going back to that expectation versus reality, for me, this one is I expected it to still be fresh in six to seven months and it, it's not. It, it's not. I don't know. Maybe, again, maybe I'm the one who's making a mistake here. I no longer have the box, which apparently is where the PAO is. So let me know if you do have this product. Is it just that I did let this one expire? But also, you know, they only instruct you to use this one time a week, and that would be the case with any chemical exfoliant you choose. So I don't know. I just feel like this should have lasted longer. And moving on to my third product that I did not like, number eight in my ranking. I can't believe I'm telling you this. This is just not at all what I expected, but the overnight hydrating sleep mask. What, don't you have dry skin? How did you not like this product? This is yet another case of expectation versus reality. I bought this one when it first debuted on the Ulta website. And uh, I, I guess I, I guess I should accept some amount of blame on this one because I did look at the ingredients. I did notice that it said mandelic acid, but I bought it anyway thinking, well, you know, that could be there for some other reason. It's a hydrating sleep mask, right? That's what it's called. Surely it's not a chemical exfoliating mask as well. Turns out that if I had expanded the how to use section before I made this purchase, I would have noticed that it said use one to two times a week. And that's just not what I bought this for. I bought it to be a nightly hydrating mask. You know, there's no limitations on hydrating products. They're very gentle. On a dry skin type like mine, you can use them twice a day. But it's not just a hydrating mask. I do kind of feel, I do feel that this should at least make it a little bit more clear that it is an exfoliant, just so you don't end up overdoing these bubble skincare active products. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it's a bit too easy to think, okay, I want an exfoliating product and I want a hydrating product. I'll buy these two. And again, if you don't really know a lot about skincare, you could notice that each of these say to use one to two times a week. So use each one of them one to two times a week. No, you wanna choose one, just one, one of them. And that part is true of three of Bubbles products. So yeah, again, you know, another reason why I think that this one should have lasted longer and why I'm flustered with the hydrating sleep mask for actually being an exfoliating product. You know, to Bubbles credit, they are adding a lot of great soothing ingredients into this, some arnica, some oat kernel flour. I mean, it's a nice formula, but it still does exfoliate. That is the reason why they instruct you to use it one to two times a week. And I, I just feel like because of that, that aspect should be made a little bit more clear. It should say somewhere, exfoliate, so somewhere that should be made a bit more clear, in my opinion. But guess what? We are already through the products that I disliked and now we are into the likes. This is the category of products I didn't necessarily love, but I do appreciate. So in the number seven spot, I'm gonna go with the Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer. I really think that if you are looking for skincare for younger people, this is a great option. Their moisturizers are wonderful. They're a little light 
for my skin type and that's why it's ranked lower in my personal opinion but I do think as a product it's made very well it is appealing to use super cute packaging I love that you press on this and it releases kind of looks like a, a cute little flower shape I never quite know what to do with this packaging though because I feel when I try to use a scoop with it I get some left behind which kind of crusts so I just use my finger and then sanitize this every few days you know, I feel like I can no longer tell you how I sanitize, as I actually, I kid you not, I got uh, one of those warning letters from YouTube for promoting the use of the word that follows isopropyl. I don't even drink. I don't, I don't drink. I talk about skincare. I love YouTube. I really love YouTube, but I do wish their AI bots were a little better at their job. Anyway, we're still kicking, I just can't use that word anymore. But yes, I sanitize with ingredients that sanitize. The Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer is the heavier of the two moisturizers, so you do see some of those more occlusive ingredients. You see fatty alcohol. It's skincare, YouTube. It's skincare. It's skincare, okay, please. Avocado oil, shea butter, and yet the texture is surprisingly light. It's just a little bit too light for me. Again, I think it is really well done. So it's one of those where I'm really excited to pass this along. Somebody who has a more normal skin type than I do will love this. If you do want a drugstore rec, I really like the Bioma Rich Cream. That one blew me away. Moving on to number six, I feel like this product is placed perfectly in my rankings because it is such a perfect in the middle product. And that is none other than the Float On Soothing Face Oil. I really like this. I love face oils. I'm somebody who is a little bit picky in looking at a formula. I do like it to have a, a base that is a good carrier oil. And Bubble didn't fail me in that aspect. Even though this product is only $19, they still have a base of safflower oil. They added in other interesting ingredients, some neem, some prickly pear, some buriti oil, and it all comes together to be a nice, lightweight, and still nourishing oil that doesn't break the bank. But in all truth, it still does fall in the middle for me in terms of all of the oils that I've tried. Not my absolute favorite, but I don't dislike it at all. In fact, I think it is well done. So it's one of those where I probably won't personally repurchase it, but I will use it however long it takes me to go through a full ounce of oil. That's one thing that I have noticed. Oils last forever. In the number five spot in this one, almost made it into the love it category. The cleanser. The Fresh Start Gel Cleanser is an absolute joy to use. It is such a gentle cleanser, but it too does actually have some exfoliating properties via PHA this time, that gluconolactone ingredient. So you have a very gentle form of exfoliation in a very gentle delivery system, that being a cleanser. And the cleanser itself is not stripping. It does foam up but very lightly. It is a joy to use. I actually really like this. And I feel it's, it's funny for me to say that because I don't typically love gel cleansers. I'm kind of more of a cream cleanser person since I do have dry skin, but I really like this. They did a fantastic job on this. This is the only other product aside from the uh, rose toner where it does have a pleasant smell. This one does smell like lavender and I like that smell. I like lavender. I like it in a wash off product too where it is less likely to be irritating. So this is yet another product where I think it is truly for all ages. The fact that I, with dry skin, like a gel cleanser, makes me think it is for all skin types. It is very well done. And that brings us to the category of my loves. And for this, I absolutely did go ahead and put the Wipeout Makeup Remover in spot number four. This blew me away. This little makeup remover works, and it works well. It's the same cute pump system as the gel cleanser. You pump out some and it comes out really creamy and you massage it onto your dry skin, onto your makeup, and it removes it all. It all comes off. You can double cleanse with this. Start out with the makeup remover and follow with the gel cleanser that I just talked about. This is so well done. We are in my top three now. My number three product is 
the Super Clear Acne Treating Serum 2% Salicylic Acid. You know how at the beginning of this video I said, don't feel like this is only for young people? Listen, if you are like me and you have dry skin and acne, you have gotta know that this product exists and exists for such a good price. Because here's what's so special about this. They do have to legally disclose that this has 2% salicylic acid because that's an active for treating acne. So you know it is actually the strongest level you can buy for the purpose of treating acne. But its delivery system is actually creamy. It's a creamy serum, the type of serums that people with dry skin often tend to like. And not just that, but it being in a creamy base, the, the delivery system actually does make a difference. You know, salicylic acid serums are almost always in kind of a gel base, which is fine, but it's not doing anything for dry skin types, whereas the texture of this alone is incredible on dry skin. So I truly think this is one of Bubble's most amazing formulas to actually have thought of, you know, kind of soothing, calming the skin around your acne and in terms of preventing acne. It's an incredible product, one of those where I would say this is going to work well for young skin, as well as for drier, more mature skin. You can look at the ingredients and kind of see what's going on here. That base of squalene, Soteril Blank, again, <laughs> sorry. Centella Asiatica, Colloidal Oatmeal, those are calming. Those are such calming ingredients and wonderful to pair with a strong active. You even have brightening licorice derived ingredients. It is an incredible, incredible formula. Just do keep in mind that this too is a chemical exfoliating ingredient in a very different way from AHA, from even PHA. BHA is a, an oil soluble chemical exfoliant and it's great for acne, but be careful with it because you don't want to overdo it. Oh, I did want to make sure to say one more thing on this one. So I have the sage extract in red because I, I try to put potential allergens in red, even though there's really no way to do this effectively. People have all kinds of different allergies, but I was a little concerned about that. I've reacted to sage in, in, in certain products in the past, my Round Lab video, or at least I suspect that. Uh, so I was a little nervous about this one, but there is a, a marked difference in this product and its sage ingredients, and that is you don't smell it. It doesn't have a smell. I mean, it smells like unscented skincare. Reviewer who didn't like the overnight mask, you wouldn't like this one either. So I think that's a bit of a commentary on how, you know, it is important to consider that different products can use different extracts, which can yield very different results. Kind of similarly to how I keep talking about onion containing products that do not smell like onion at all, yeah, you can use sage in a, a, an extract that doesn't have those fragrance components. In the number two spot, a product that I truly bought on a whim because I am really not a clay mask person, and yet a product that has become my second favorite bubble product, the Come Clean Clay Mask. This is amazing. So not only is it super cute and you get a little brush, really nice touch for only $19, but the formula on this one too is absolutely amazing. So this is a non-drying clay mask, and again, looking at the ingredients, it kind of makes sense. We have grapeseed oil and glycerin as the second and third ingredients. And then we get into the clay ingredients. We also have some azelaic acid in here. I can't think of another product that does have azelaic acid in a wash off form. Very interesting. Because I don't typically like clay masks because they are too drying, I really did not have high expectations at all. You know, in, in the, the uh, dislikes part of this video, how I was saying my expectations were up here. Well, with this product, they were actually down here. I just kind of added it to my cart. I really don't know why. I'm so glad I did because it is non-drying, my skin loves it, and I feel like it has actually really helped me to clear up the bad breakout that I had for reasons that are unrelated to skincare. It is so well done and fun to use. They actually made it fun to use. With this one, it does have some lavender. It's kind of another one where, I don't know if I really smelled the lavender. I do smell the clays in this one. Do keep in mind though, again, in a video that has 
a surprising amount of active products, right? There's a surprising amount from this little brand. Do keep in mind that this one says use one to two times weekly, and I would recommend you do that. You don't wanna overdo any products. I think what I'm trying to communicate here is that in a brand that has three different mask options, you may notice that I put two of them into my dislikes and only one of them into my loves, and I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. You'll probably find that you gravitate towards one of these masks. Oh, I didn't want to forget to mention this, and I almost did. I was on the Bubble Instagram account, and I saw they have a perfect visual to help you determine which mask is for you. This doesn't include the overnight one, but you can see whether you personally should go for the Deep Clean or the Total, Re Total Skin Reset Mask. Cute little guide, really helpful. But ultimately, I love this mask. I love it. I did not expect it. I love it. And then, <laughs> in the number one spot, some of your returning viewers are going, yeah, I knew it was gonna be that one, I knew it was. It is still the Daydream Tone and Texture Serum. I'm so sorry, returning viewers, but I've gotta reiterate it one more time, just in case someone is seeing my channel for the first time. Listen, this is my favorite vitamin C serum. It is my number one favorite because of the way that this is formulated. This product is formulated to give you the benefits of vitamin C as well as niacinamide. It gives you additional brightening ingredients via the alpha arbutin, the tranexamic acid, the licorice extract. It gives you calming ingredients via the ceramides, the rice. The formula is just so mind-blowingly beautiful especially if you deal with acne because the form of vitamin C used in this sodium ascorbyl phosphate has published research showing that it may have benefit for people that deal with acne. Somehow this is one exception where we actually do know the percentage of the actives. It kind of feels like Bubble was willing to disclose this initially and then they just kind of stopped. And again, I do understand why they may not want to disclose in all situations, but with this one we know it is 4.3% sodium ascorbyl phosphate, or at least that's what they said via, I think it was DM communication, and 2% niacinamide, which are not too strong levels. Those are excellent levels for very gentle results. And again, with my difficult skin type, I would much rather have gentle and slow than, you know, go ham with the actives and deal with my skin being all kinds of irritated, messed up moisture barrier, the whole shebang. And here's the reason why I cannot keep my mouth shut about this product. This is 17 this is $17. Do you understand that I've tried a lot of really, really expensive products and this one is better for $17? I love this product so much that when I was filming my swatches, I pumped some onto the back of my hand, I filmed it for you, and then I looked at my hand and I, I did one of these. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna waste a beautiful formula. <laughs> It's phenomenal. I, I love this product so much. You get it. You've heard me talk about it a lot. That brings us to the end of my personal ranking. Again, feel free to share your thoughts. It can be very different. You can absolutely disagree with me. I will only thank you for sharing your experience. I promise. But that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. Again, I have a code in the description box below if you would like to try out any of these products. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you all next time.